is a crime and will be prosecuted. Okay. What about this video? I'm not allowed to let you see it. Why not? Okay, that this is it, I guess. Do you have a letter? <laughs> okay. I guess we can't talk about anything else with uh, about anything else uh, with that guy. That encrypted memory stick probably has some useful information on it. Oh, great advice. If you could help me break it, then I'd be impressed. Guess I'll have to see if anyone else on the street can break it for me. But who? But who? So, I guess we have to find out what's on this USB stick. Rumor is, Zach Williams, owner of the electronic shop, is tied okay. to organized crime. Well, we've had our problems in the past. For example, the last time I was here, he shot my credit card into a million pieces. I'm hoping he's in a little better humor today and doesn't blow my brains out, or even worse. I hope so too. Oh. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> okay, I don't want any trouble. Well, fine. Uh, how much money do I owe you this time? Why do you keep hassling me about that? That was years ago. I pay back all those interest charges. Plus interest. Okay. The Yelp review. Okay. You did? Well, I must say, customer service has gotten considerably better around here. Everyone knows what happens to people who get on your bad side. Only one reason you ever come in here. And it ain't to buy anything. You know all our stuff is junk. Uh, time to rebrand. Is that the new electronic shop slogan? I mean, it's no wonder you're not getting any new business. Why are you busting my chops? You know what kind of business we're running here. Uh, help wanted. Well, I'm kind of in some hot water with the police right now, and I think you could help me out. You had something to do with what happened upstairs? I swear I have no idea what was going on. Look, I know how much you hated Maldonado, and I probably shouldn't have let him use the second floor. Oh, so but he I was know paying this cash, guy. and he kept a low profile. So I thought it was all good. I didn't know what he was doing up there, and I didn't want to know. Humble brag, you better you bet. Intimidation technique. Well, let's see what kind of useful information I can get out of you before I try jogging your memory. Okay, what about myself? You the man, okay? We good? Mm. The abduction. Look, I told the cops I wasn't here, which is technically true. I just parked out back when I heard the gunshots. So I just started the engine right back up and got the hell out. What about the Ritz Hotel? You live there, so I'm not gonna say a thing about it. You better don't. Free cuts to midnight. That place opened up a couple of months ago. Doesn't look like my kind of joint. The nightclub? What about Louis? I do love Louis cooking up. Just don't ask what's in it and you'll be fine. Do you know anything about my loss of memory? All I know is, you ain't the same guy that came slinking in here seven years ago. Uh, oh, oh, okay. What about Chelsea's death? I mean, I personally don't think she's really dead. There's some something fishy afoot here, I guess. <laughs> Sorry to hear about that. Is that what turned you into Mr. Badass? You don't have any information at all. What about Mason Bowers? Um, the guy um, being mentioned on the note in that uh, Maldonado's uh, hiding room. I think he's the one who came by to check in on Maldonado. Must have been a client. Ah, okay. Don't know anything else about it. Okay. Well, before I ask about the encrypted memory stick, um, because I think this progress, the story, let's ask about the other things here. Sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. 
Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. Mm -hmm. Stack Williams. Who's that? Is that the uh, police detective? Let's just leave me out of this, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. The surveillance video, what about that one? I saw him bring in some cameras, so he must have been recording the surveillance. But whatever he had got confiscated by the cops. Okay. Can you help me encrypt this nifty memory stick of mine? I sell items to customers, not purchase them. Okay, you are not a big help at all. Okay. Okay, that didn't bring us anywhere. Oh, that didn't get us anywhere. What about the three cards to Midnight Club? Because this has been mentioned a lot of times before. Three cards to Midnight isn't open right now. Okay. I'll have to try back closed. later. Ah, that, that store's open. The Rook's Pawn. Rook's the little gremlin who runs the pawn shop. I've heard that his hard shell is hiding a heart of gold. But if it was, he'd cut it out himself with a rusty soup can lid. Let's see what that guy has to say. Oh, that's the Matt Hatter. With the nice long fingernails. Murphy! Here, let me look at you. Louis told me something terrible has happened. I've been worried sick. Mm, the way we were. Since when do you care about what happens to me? Don't tell me your little Grinch heart has grown three sizes in the last seven years. Oh, Lord. Please don't tell me that lump on your head has turned you back into the uh, pathetic pestering P.I. I used to know. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> Sarcastic sympathy. I'm sorry, Rook. I can only imagine how hard this is for you. It's temporary, though, right? A, a side effect? Please tell me you'll be changing back. Texas Carol. <laughs> uh, magician secrets revealed. Get real. I'll I'll choose that one. I I really don't have a clue if. Um, choosing a certain answer will affect the gameplay, so... At the moment I'm just picking the options that, that just feels right. Hold on. Are you telling me the text I turned into was not pathetic and pestering? Those are my secret weapons. Look, Murphy, I'll grant you have some detective skills, but it was all relentless, annoying banter and endless questions to me. I, imagine my surprise when... Over the past few years, you turned into someone I could actually tolerate. Ten things you love about me. No kidding. So what was it you loved most about the new me? You cut out all the chit-chat and became a no-nonsense customer who pays in cash. You always seem to have plenty of cash. Mm-hmm. Um, that one. Okay, I'll cut the chit chat. Just tell me where I come up with all this cash. All my transactions are done in strictest confidence. That hasn't changed. Seriously, a little help here? I'm having a few rough days here, Rook, and all I'm trying to do is get my memory back. I could use a little help. Fine. Though I don't know anything that could possibly explain what's happened to you. Uh, believe me, I tell you if I did. Uh, now I suppose this is where you ask if I mind answering a few questions, but this is not for old time's sake. Okay, let us begin. You became a sullen, short-tempered bully. And I miss that for the sake thing. of the score. I heard a commotion and saw a crazed man running willy-nilly down the street and two other men in pursuit. Okay. I was hoping they would tear that blop house down. And they would have, too, if it weren't for that 
meddling Clint. Such an upbeat, chipper little man. Utterly obnoxious. I went there once, never again. What with that herbal tea and incense, it's a veritable gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything about Chelsea? I knew she'd get nothing but trouble being with you. Oh, that's some information. Louis' niece is an absolute delight. What she sees in you is an absolute mystery. You don't know me, man. You don't know me. I'm friendliness uh, in person. A prince among men makes me wish I could still eat solid food. Years ago, after Chelsea disappeared, you came to me looking for leads to some valuable items, among them a, uh, mm -hmm. a lost Fabergé egg. You left the street for a long time. Okay. When you returned to Chandler Avenue, you seemed like a different person. A, a darker, a more dangerous. Maybe this is where it picks up from the last part. But as I mentioned before, I did not really play um, the previous part except the second. Um, this is a nice beard this person is having. Did he grow his beard just for this game only or is he always that ugly? Okay. We won't get to know this. What about Holly? I understand you have a thing for holograms. Maybe she's just your type. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure you know much more about that than I. Some say you know exactly what happened. I wouldn't ask if I'd know it. What about this Mason, Ga uh, Mason Bowers uh, character? That's the man you think was abducted? The one I saw being chased down the street? I never heard his name before you told me. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's leave the memory stick for now. What about Carlos Maldonado? Maldonado? <sighs> He puts the P.I. in pig. I heard you two had something of a rivalry going on. Really? So was it a rivalry about who's the best P.I. or something like that? Hmm, what about Zach Williams? At least he knows how to keep his mouth shut. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Uh, next question. Uh, okay, guess that's better. Why would I know anything about that? If the police confiscated it, I suggest you talk to the police about it. Okay. Can you encrypt my memory stick? What is that? What is that? Uh, okay. Goodbye. Now that Rooks is open, I'll bet his back gate's open too. Ah, okay. Now I can enter the backyard. We have been here before? Yep, and I think now this door should be open. Yep. Okay. What about this basketball? Yeah, I used to come back here and shoot hoops until I threw my back out. Cutscene. Ten seconds left. Down by one. Murphy has the ball. He fakes. He drives. It's a 360. <laughs> He's fouled. Was okay. You're not that good of a basketball player. And this is a part from Body Snatchers, um, which is uh, uses to grow here. It's good to know to have such a nice neighborhood. <laughs>